Okay, so you have this section here. Okay. Now I'm going to do a few, I don't know, maybe three or four stripes. And this is how I'm going to do them. Okay. Like, let's say I'm going to start one right here. I'm going to start at the crease. And I'm going to kind of make a zigzaggy motion to the end of the other side of my highlight just because I don't want to have you know this block I want it to be kind of you know like light color dark color light color in one highlight you know so it's not just one stream of color so that's how I'm doing that let me do that again so kind of just going in the S zigzag motion getting some of the hair and leaving some of the hair behind on purpose here okay so I got this much I don't know how you guys will want to get but that's how much I want to get in the in the front of my hair so then after you do this you get your brush here and Let's make sure this hair and dip it in. Now, I didn't start at the root, I started a little bit down from the root. I want you to see that. Okay. Okay. There's my first highlight. Yay! Okay, so then I'm going to skip a little bit and I'm going to do the exact same thing. You don't want these right by each other. Make sure that you're not allergic and it does not get in your eyes don't use this for your eyelashes do not use it for your eyebrows it's only for your hair don't worry about it being perfect because it's just gonna be you know it's, you want it to look natural here we go again I'm not starting at the root. I'm starting about an inch away. You can get closer if you want, but that's where I want mine. Okay. Then just lay down. Make sure you put a lot of this on it. Okay, so I got one side of highlights done. Now, I know I took a while, but I wanted to show you exactly how I did it. Okay, so after you get that side done, what you want to do is you want to move to the other side and do the exact same thing because you want to make it even. And the, the highlights don't have to be even, but if you run out, then you have one side of hair with all this color and the other side is just whack. So you do one stripe, one line here of highlights and then one line here. So after I do that, what you want to do is you want to take about, I'll say an inch and then go all the way down of hair and just put that with the hair up here and then then do this again with the highlights and a half an inch for a highlight and then make them as thick or you know you can alter that however you want but basically you want to have a strip of highlights that are evenly uh, 
parted and then a strip of no highlights and then a strip of highlights again or if you want you can do some highlights in that strip of no highlights but I don't want that many I just want a few now this is done really thin in the front because it's my bangs but once you start getting back here you're going to get thicker and I'll show you that after I get this pretty much done I'll see you guys in a little hey guys so I did this side and I did this side and I parted an inch back and then put it into the into the highlights area so then I parted this side I parted another inch back because I have realized that I want um, inch thick uh, highlights so let's see is it an inch it's shy of an inch but oh well just figure out the size you want of highlights it actually gets thicker here and thinner here I don't oh well who cares so I'm just starting here okay so this is going to be one of my highlights So, get in the cream. So I'm just going to do that on this side and on that side. And I will, and then uh, you want, you're supposed to wait about 20 minutes, 15 minutes or 20 minutes, but as long as it's taken me to do this, by the time I'm done, I'm probably going to need to wait about 5 minutes for the last ones and then, and then you want to wash it out and we'll get to that later. So let me finish up here and I'll show you guys the rest later. Bye. Hey guys, so this is what I turned out with all these colors if you could see them and on this side too okay yeah so well anyway sorry it's moving so much but that's why I always have a stand anyway um yeah that's how the colors turned out and um basically uh I fi finished the back like I said I would and whenever you get to about right here then have someone come and do the back like so you already have everything from here done and then this crown part in the back have somebody do it and um, just go straight across straight across like we talked about and instead of going this way you're going to be using the space on the back and just go straight across if that makes sense so anyway yeah um i don't know if i mentioned but you're supposed to have a t-shirt on that you don't like so here's my t-shirt that i don't i just leave in i'm going to show you what it looks like in the back Let's see if i can show you hope i can see so that's what it looks like I'm trying to make sure I'm filming the right stuff see there it is so hope you guys like it you can see all these whoopsie sorry but you can see more on this side too See them. Anyway, the more I mess with it, the more fluffy it gets. So I'm just gonna stop. So yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. And I would like to know if I helped at all. Hopefully I did, because that's the point of this. And uh, just show me your hair. Let me see how it looks and if it worked out and everything. And uh, have me. Uh, comment and subscribe and you know everything sweet like that and I will write back if you write me 
So, thank you everyone for taking time to watch this and I hope I helped you guys out. And this is how my highlights turned out. See ya!